so uh, let us continue this uh, biomolecules so we have already seen classification of amino acid so last one small uh, portion is remaining that is non protein amino acid as the name indicate they are non protein they are not found in they are no, not there in protein but they are they perform some biological function what are those for example alpha amino acid mainly citrulline and ornithine which is the intermediate of urea cycle synthesis of ammonia urea to ammonia production of urea which is a non protein nitrogenous compound so these ornithine and citrulline are example for non protein amino acids these ornithine and citrulline are alpha amino acid so next is non alpha amino acid example beta alanine which is a component of pentathenic acid pentathenic acid is nothing but water soluble vitamin okay so third one is uh, example we can give gamma amino butyric acid gaba is a neurotransmitter which helps in the pr um, propagation um, transfer of message from uh, nerve cell neuron to tissue that is the neurotransmitter helps in the uh, propagation uh, transport of message from neuron nerve cell to tissue those substances are ca called neurotransmitter this gaba is a non protein amino acid which is a neurotransmitter so citrulline and ornithine are alpha amino acid which is a non protein so if the multiple choice or one word if they ask give an example for non protein amino acid which one will give ornithine citrulline beta alanine or gaba let us go to lipid you have already studied carbohydrate then classification of protein and amino acid now see third biomolecule that is lipid what are the, what is the importance of lipid let us see the classification uh, function that is introduction that is the definition of lipid so lipids are heterogeneous group of organic biomolecules relatively insoluble in water but soluble in organic solvent like ether benzene uh, like uh, uh, chloroform ether benzene this point is important they are insoluble in water they are non polar okay they are non polar they are insoluble in water but soluble in organic solvent they are hydrophobic water fearing okay so this they contains hydrocarbon carbon and hydrogen ch2 ch2 long chain because of this hydrophobic or non polar nature uh, because of the their uh, hydrophobic or non polar nature is because of this hydrocarbon ch2 ch2 it continues okay ch2 ch2 but what is the importance of lipid why we have to study lipid see lipids under fats and oil triacid glyceride we consume ghee fat in our cooking oil we use these are fats and oil storage uh, energy requirement phospholipid is a constituent of cell membrane you studied uh, fluid mosaic model of cell membrane they are phospho uh, 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 cell membrane is made up of phospholipid correct phospholipid bilayer cholesterol is very important it is also a component of cell membrane prostaglandins and steroid hormones are uh, prostaglandins means they are local hormones steroid hormones are produced from cholesterol like progesterone testosterone they also hormones they perform biological required for biological functioning okay many one so fats and oil phospholipid cholesterol prostaglandins and steroid steroid hormones are synthesized from cholesterol so what is the clinical significance means uh, why they are important lipid any disease or condition is there they are good or bad see obesity is one of the condition where there is excessive deposition of fat see fat or tg is a concentrated storage form of energy because it is deposited beneath the skin okay so, but uh, there is some limit like uh, your body index is bmi is up to 25 26 okay if it is up to 30 is over over weight above 30 means it is excess okay so excess deposition of fat leads to obesity uh, we can see we need the abdomen and all excess fat thickness so this is dangerous this may lead to one of the important metabolic disorder what is that type 2 diabetes one of the main cause for type 2 diabetes is excess intake of calorie and deposition of 
fat next term we used under lipid uh, metab abnormal uh, uh, metabolism that is atherosclerosis atherosclerosis means deposition of fat deposition of uh, cholesterol that is mainly ldl cholesterol beneath the major blood vessel that is coronary artery atherosclerosis atherosclerosis means deposition of atherosclerosis means deposition of cholesterol uh, ldl cholesterol means low density cholesterol beneath the major coronary artery coronary artery means supplying blood to uh, heart okay coronary artery they these cholesterol slowly flakes means pieces they slowly deposit beneath the coronary artery this takes several years or month so finally there is a problem in uh, trans uh, this uh, flow of blood free flow of blood there is a occlusion or blockage in the free flow of blood because of the deposition of fat okay and this uh, ldl finally it uh, st uh, either reduce the blood supply or stop finally it leads to heart attack what we call use the term myocardial infarction next is ketosis ketosis is derangement in the metabolism of fat ketosis is derangement in the metabolism of fat so a derangement in the metabolism of fat see ketone bodies are produced from fat uh, oxidation of fat but this ketone body ketone also used for as a fuel energy as a energy but when there is excess ketone body formation there is a condition called ketosis mainly seen in type 1 iddm diabetes because insulin lacks there is no uh, availability of energy to glucose to cells so finally there is a breakdown of uh, this fat okay excessive bre breakdown of fat leads to excessive ketone body ketosis okay it is a uh, this condition is called ketosis which may leads to ketoacidosis and change in the blood ph and all so these are the main conditions obesity atherosclerosis and ketosis that is the significance of lipid so what are the functions of these lipids what are the functions of this lipid so as i told lipids are concentrated storage form of energy they are structural component of cell membrane mainly phospholipid and cholesterol so in the myelin sheet of nerve nerve cell myelin sheet is there which constitute uh, about dry weight about 60% of dry weight this lipid okay so this lipid also act as electrical insulator mainly cholesterol and glycolipids glyco means carbohydrate plus lipid helps in the propagation of nerve impulse so lipids act as a glycolipids and cholesterol act as a electrical insulator helps in the propagation of nerve impulse next function is they act, these lipids act as thermal insulator they maintain the body temperature mainly the subcutaneous 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 means beneath the skin okay so this lipid act as a thermal insulator mainly the subcutaneous fat provides insulation against the changes in external temperature body temperature is fixed you know that it is 37 degree this lipid helps to maintain body temperature by act as a they act as a thermal insulator okay next is lipids also act as metabolic regulators mainly steroid hormones these steroid hormones are synthesized from cholesterol like testosterone progesterone and all so lipid act as a metabolic regulator mainly steroid hormones and local hormones so these local hormones are also called prostaglandins so next the, this fatty acid lipid dipalmitoyl lecithin which acts as a lung surfactant means prevent the lung from it prevent lung from collapsing it reduce the surface tension okay between the alveoli and uh, air uh, so it prevent lung from collapse if lung collapse means it stop lung stops its function means is a difficulty in uh, oxygen supply or breathing what we call so this lung surfactant that is the lipid dipalmitoyl lecithin it prevent uh, lung 
from collapse okay so such substances are called uh, surfactant so one of the uh, dipalmate oil is thin is one of the lung surfactant okay also emulsifier soaps and detergents it uh, contains lipid so fat also gives flavor and taste to the food like your ghee oil and all uh, if you fry in the deep oil uh, uh, ghee and all which gives flavor to the taste to the food and it improves the palatability that you know all anyway this lipid helps in the absorption of vitamins mainly a d e e and k a d e e and k are fat soluble vitamin so so this lipid helps in the absorption of vitamins that is fat soluble vitamins so these lipids play a role in electron transport chain no need to go detail electron transport chain is required for the synthesis of atp energy okay also lipid prevent prevent visceral organs and give shape and contour to the body they prevent visceral organs because it is like a lipid covering entire body and there is a, a subcutaneous fat is there so there is a lipid cover which prevent visceral organ and give shape and contour to the body okay that is it next uh, functions of phospholipid see don't confuse with the functions of lipid and phospholipid both are same phospholipid is a type of phospholipid is a type of compound lipid that is all so because it, you may get uh, some three marks or question about phospholipid function so i am giving separately you can include this under classification of lipid as a whole okay so functions of phospholipid you know that it is a structural component of cell membrane and it's a component of lipoprotein this phospholipid is a component of lipoprotein what are lipoprotein they contains they are derived proteins that is lipid and protein this for example high hdl ldl high density lipoprotein low density lipoprotein uh, you heard this word hdl good cholesterol ldl bad cholesterol so so these uh, phospholipids are component of lipoprotein so main function of lipoprotein is transport of lipid also this phospholipid is component of bile which act as a uh, uh, detergent okay bile what is the function of bile bile is required for digestion of fat emulsification of fat next uh, uh, this lipid helps in the absorption of fat lipids act as a lipotropic factor what is the meaning of lipotropic factor there are many lipotropic factors in our system they prevent fatty liver fatty liver is a abnormal con condition where there is a deposition of deposition of fat in the liver so this lipotropic factor prevent fatty liver this phospholipid one type of uh, fatty li uh, lipotropic factor factor so what is the function of lipotropic factor they prevent fatty liver fatty liver is a um, clinical condition where there is the uh, immobilization of immobilization of fat there is no mobilization of fat so fat is deposited in the liver it uh, it harms so many functions of the liver so this phospholipid act as a lipotropic factor so that it prevent fatty liver so prevent fatty liver such substances are called lipotropic factor so phospholipid is one such factor okay next uh, we will see we have seen the functions of uh, lipid along with the uh, phospholipid now let us see the broad classification of lipid they are classified as simple compound derived and miscellaneous simple lipid again uh, compound lipid also called complex or conjugated okay uh, derived and miscellaneous so let us see the simple lipid fats and oil Okay, and waxes they are simple they contains only esters of fatty acid and glycerol fats and oil contains esters of fatty acid and glycerol example example triacyl glycerol tg is an example for fat and oil what is the difference between fat and oil fat is solid at room temperature oil is liquid is liquid in room temperature example for oil is vegetable oil sunflower oil sunflower oil ground this uh, 
all groundnut oil uh, refined oils and all example for fat is ghee butter and all their uh, fat they are solid at room temperature uh, oil is liquid at room temperature waxes they are esters of fatty acid instead of glycerol they contain long chain monomeric alcohol like b wax wool wa wool fat that is lanolin okay simple lipid one is fats and oil and waxes example for fats and oil uh, oil vegetable oil fish oil uh, uh, fat is butter ghee and all waxes b wax b bees wax sorry bees wax it is bees wax and uh, lanolin okay L let us continue next uh, 